This is my dogs. Not only will they beg, they'll dance, they'll sing, they'll they'll sit, they'll stay, they'll do anything for food. <laughs> Okay, so right off the bat, oh, that is really heavy. What is that mark right there? Oh no, that's their store mark. Boy, that feels like it should be something. I mean, it's definitely lead crystal, I can tell you that much. I thought maybe it would be a Waterford, but it doesn't have a mark. But I was kind of drawn to this piece that has no weight to it and it's 10 bucks it's just pretty I just don't think it's 10 bucks pretty but I liked it Whew, this, see this piece is pretty too it's got the pretty factor $8.99 for clear glass that I don't exactly know what it is and it's got no mark I'm gonna gonna pass on that No, this looks like calico. No, it's, well, it's ironstone. Yeah, this is calico. Like, this is the, there it is. Like that hand that I have, these are the same thing, which is very interesting to find that. These would have had teacups, so just saucers all on their own. I'm going to give a pass to. But here, it's a nice piece of transferware. But they went 10 bucks for that. So that's a no. I think this is like a desk set maybe. It's cute. I think that's like Boston Warehouse. I think that's the Boston Warehouse mark. Nope, nothing. This is very cute. <laughs> I'm finding a lot of this white stuff lately. Grace Teaware. But again, they want six dollars. Oh, that's cute. It's a creamer and sugar. Oh man. So that'd be twelve dollars to buy the set, and it's probably a twenty dollar set. So, can't do that. Can't do that and make any money. That's the thing. I mean, it might be a good buy for if somebody wants to come in here and that's something they want personally. That is great. And I have no problem with it. I feel like I see a signature on there. But, no, I'm just seeing some weird little marks. Um... I only have a problem when the stuff ends up in the landfill because they overpriced it. Resellers are a huge part of thrift stores business. These are Pimpernel. Are they all sunflowers? I actually kind of like those. Do I like them five dollars worth? You know what? Worst case scenario I can sell them at the booth for ten. I have seen lots of Pimpernel at the booth. Their art is kind of a mess, so we'll come back to the art. I'm seeing over here this little wood basket. Come here, little wood basket. How much do I like this? You know, it's got a name on it. It's definitely got some age to it. You know, it's the primitive thing is in, so. For $2.99. I'm gonna give that a grab. Why not? What are you? Huh? 
kind of don't know how I feel about that. Oh, it looks like it would have had a hinge and it no longer has a hinge, so that makes that decision for me. All right, let's see. <sighs> a little bunny planter. Bunny planter for $2.99. Okay, why not? I kind of got a bunny theme going lately. I'm gathering up all those lost bunnies from from Easter that uh, didn't find a home. This looks like a hobbyist piece for $8.99. Who are you? They're little candle holders. Well, at least that one is. I suspect, yeah, that one is too. Cute, but very new. Also very new. Okay, there's a lot of this modern goopus glass stuff floating around now. Finding it a lot. This is a Nippon. Nippon for $4.99. Oh sure, since you've got a couple of your little berry bowls, let's see, two, four, oh, nine dollars for the whole set, sure why not, at least we have two bowls to go with it. What are you? Nothing. Now I don't particularly like clowns, but that's kind of cute. <laughs> Happy hobos. Oh, there's that Roman numeral thing again. Ah, uh, that would be 1973. 1973? Hmm. How much do I like him? Oh, sure. Why not? I got such flack last time for not liking clowns. I'll make up for it and get a clown. How's that? Ooh. What's this? Oh, oh, you got a big chip on you. And that is a made in China. Anyways. Oh, I like this. I just like this. $3.99. It's a 2009 something or other, but I just really like this. It's kind of my vibe. This is, this is my dogs. Not only will they beg, they'll dance, they'll sing, they'll, they'll sit, they'll stay, they'll do anything for food. <laughs> You'd think I never fed them the way that they'll do anything for food. Just saying. But trust me, they are well-fed dogs. It's like their nutrition is better than my nutrition. This is a... Uh... Okay, there's something about this that I really, really like. Let me check. I know it's six bucks, so I better really like it because I may end up with it like in keeping it but something saying buy on this one so we'll buy oh and what's this piece I'm kind of into like buying some pieces that are out of my normal realm of buying pieces so for 99 cents we'll figure out what that one is too the pineapple bowls they're cute, but I can't really do anything with them. Oh, he is not cute. Sorry. Sorry if you think he's cute. I don't think he's cute. What does that say? Uh, gosh, what does that say? J, J, Jas, Jas, Jaspa? Jasper, it's $2.99. If that was $0.99, cents, I'd probably get it and figure it out. 
Ooh, that is very, very light. That's one of the ways I know it's a more modern piece. All right. Let's see what did I miss over here? Some little wood bowls. I know you guys always tell me to get the little wood bowls, and I just I don't want to. <laughs> How about a coconut? What does this say? It says, just Maui 2005. That's very cute. Okay, that's got a chip, but that's, um, yeah, interesting. Not interesting enough for me to buy, but that's interesting. Oh, looky. Oh no, I think I only sold my last one for like $15, so we cannot pay that. Uh, what are you? $5.99. That's, that's kind of a interesting. I get it, it needs a little fixing up, but you know what? That's a pretty cool piece. Not sure what that is. And I'm not excited enough about it to peel the sticker. Don't worry, if I peel the sticker, I put it back. Okay, now this is a cute little stencil. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of this strange little kind of metallic backed glass floating around. And for $3, I will take a chance on it because it's actually really eye appealing. I don't see anything else on... Oh wait, what is this? None finer caramels. How does this open? Like so. I can't even tell if this is... I don't think it's that old, but that's kind of funny. I think I have to have that. It's a bit in politically incorrect, I think. These are pretty. But don't want to deal with them. Oh, hello basket. You know, I'm really kind of into this whole like finding the little primitive things. Like I would put that up in my kitchen. I don't know if you can see it good there. It's like it's blending into everything. There, can you see it? Can you see it now? There it is. Um, it's cute. It's cute. It's only four bucks. I yeah, will get that. All right. Ooh, what are you? Move over baskets. Uh, what are you? This, what would this hold? This would hold? What would you hold in the middle of that? That's... I don't know, it's super heavy too. Let's see if there's anything marked on the bottom. No, oh, this is made in China. You know, I think... I think I'll get this and it will sell at the booth also because it's just interesting. <gasps> Hello! Come here, birdie. Don't be, don't be like 10 bucks. Of course, nine, nine dollars for the bird. I would have to repaint his eyes. But I think I have to have the bird. <sighs> All right. Don't ask, it's just a thing. I have to have the bird. It says Cocopelli's, but they're very bent. Oh, there's a pair of them even. But they're bent. Okay, so I'm finding a lot of this kind of stuff. What? What is the purpose? Like, is it wine? Is it a wine bottle thing? <sighs> yeah, it's 
cute little bird cage. I will pass the cute little bird cage because I spotted this guy. I get it. He's newer. He's probably World Market or something. Oh man. Do I need him? Would he have had a lid? I could totally make him into like a planter. He's cute, right? I don't know. You know what? I think I'm going to leave him. I think I'm going to leave him. Some of you might be yelling at me right now. Don't leave him. Don't leave him. But I think I have to leave him. Let's right. see who done this one. Oh, there is a mark. It's in the middle. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. I can barely see it. Let me get the glare on this just right. Yeah, that's not happening. Something. Oh, it's a Rogers. Rogers silver plate. So it is a Rogers, which is a good, good brand if you're into silver plate. It's not really my thing, though. Okay, I pulled this piece out of the art just as a little teaching moment. Can you see? So the picture that somebody had put in here has gotten off center and there is a print behind this and um, that's a good lesson that oftentimes these things were used to reframe something and uh, there can be something valuable behind yeah I don't think that's a valuable print behind there but I just wanted to have you kind of give you a heads up on the fact that people do this so if the print in front is not so great, but it's got a really nice framing job and it's vintage, take a closer look. If you can, look for signs that this was done. I did dig through the art and I found, I found this piece, which is signed. I forget who this artist is, but um, there was a time these were actually selling for a lot of money. I don't know if they still are. And then I just really liked these tree prints in the fog for five bucks each, so I got those. Okay. This, I thought maybe this would be Nambi, but it's not. Ooh, that is a heavy piece. I don't think it's anything special. It's kind of drawn to the, the sea urchin, but it's pretty chipped up. Edible arrangements. All right, let me see if I can get by here. The cart keeps settling, giving me little heart attacks. Those are actually some nice little fake, that's a nice little fake plant. Yeah, it's better from the bottom than the top. I don't need it. I don't need it. Where's that Toyo brand again? Hmm. They're just, they're not done very well. Not done very well. Had they been better quality, I would have picked them up. All right, let's go look at some mugs. Very interesting. W. Lucas. It's got names on it. I wonder what those names are. H. H. 1966. Hmm. Webster. Wesley. I wonder whose name. I mean, I think this was like a. Was it like a school thing? That's kind of. It's kind of interesting. You know what? I'm. Might have to get that for 99 cents just because it's got some history tied to it that I want to figure out. I'll, I'll take it for a buck. See what else. Oh, I see something else, but I'm out of hands because my cart is taking off on its own. Come back, cart. All right. Put the mug in there. All right. 
What did I say at this one? 1776, 1976, Minuteman. Share with us in our pride, commemoration of our nation's 200th anniversary stands for reconstruction. I mean, that's kind of a cool mug. I think that one's $1.49. I think I might have to get that one too. All right. Then I spot these little, little pandas and there are, there are three of these little pandas. Now, what's interesting about some of the Asian sets is they came in threes. They didn't come in even numbers like ours. So three is okay. And I think because they are cute little panda bears, I will get these. But now I need my hand. Okay, I'll be back. Okay. We're on a roll. Ah, it's what are these? These are kind of pretty. Two dollars each. I wish there was four. If there was four, I would get these. I don't want just two, and I don't want three. I really want four to make it worth my while. So we will pass on those. Wow, those are... Club Denaro, those are, those are bright. Okay, on to the dishes. What are you? Buffalo. Are they Buffalo China? A little restaurant work, guys. You know what? I kind of like these. I think it's $6 for all four of them. We'll do that. Get this. This, I bet you, is Spode. Let's see. Is it? Oh, there it is. Spode Archive Collection Transferware. They're pretty, but they just don't bring anything. Sadly, because they're kind of cool. Hey, lady. Want to split a half pipe with me? No, ah! it's just cute. Isn't that cute. That is cute. Yeah. <laughs> Abigail Adams porcelain plate from Avon. Avon. It's cute. Fault spa. What are these? Waverly Garden Sweet Butter. These are actually like really pretty. I really like those. Alright, I think I might have to stop and look those up. I'll be back. Okay, so they do sell well and they did go into my cart. Now, Last time I was here, they did have all of this Franciscan that's a little on the... Oh! Hold that thought. Check it out. I just found more. Oh. Okay. I guess I gotta find room in my cart for this now. I'll be back. Okay, so I got like the whole set of that. I don't even know what I'm thinking. Like I gotta ship all that, but it sells really good. And then we have a bird. I like the bird. The bird is coming with me too. Alright, back to this. Now this is a pretty decent piece, but you see like the really shiny glaze? Something about that just bothers me. And they want $8.99. 
just seems a little too on the shiny side for some reason. I don't know. Oh, what's this piece? $5.99. I just think there's so much of this out there, it's tough to sell it at a good price. Little holes. Oh, it's soap. Ah, remember, uh, this was a different store I found these at, so those must have been like a Target overstock thing because Goodwill does get a lot of that stuff from Target. I do think they pay for it. I don't think it's free. I'm trying to get down to the, the little rooster. Why do you have to be five bucks? I'm going to pick that up for a couple of bucks. Uh, seeing if it was the color of the day to be half price, but it's not. So he stays. This looks newer. Those are newer. These are newer. Oh, hello. This matches that bowl that I got the other day. But how much are you? Looks like they want $15 for the toucan. So we will leave the toucan. Ooh, this is an old little... See, I know this is old, but I don't know what they bring. This is a cute set. I know it's not that old, but it's... I cannot read what that says. Ugh. I miss being able to just put like reading glasses on, which I can't do because I have regular glasses on. I don't know. It's a cute set though. I like it. Oh, check. Oh man, don't be, don't be so expensive that I can't get it $12.99. See, they took somebody's dealer price and just halved it. Mmm, this really does match the bowl and I can do more with this than I can the teapot. So I think I, I know it's expensive, but that way I have a set. If I don't ship it up, okay. We'll do it. How about that one? No. Interesting though. I just don't know who done it and I'm not motivated enough to find out. Yeah, that's the thing. It's all about the motivation. That's like an Amari. But it's pretty scratched up. Uh, man, why do you have to be so expensive, Mr. Toucan? Uh, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, so I put this in my cart. This will be for mom. This is some cool little beaded. Let's see it. It is beads for $2.99. It's pretty cool. And I got another little bookcase happy about that. Checking out the lamps. I don't see anything I can't live without. All right. So I added a few things, some doilies. And I don't know, this interesting little, it is Limoges. I just thought it was interesting. And a pillow, which should sell for about 15 to 20. And uh, yeah, that's my haul. Oh yeah, I got dishes underneath too. This was a good, this was a good shopping trip. Okay, go be profitable and make it fun. We will see you on the next one. Okay, that was an absolutely fun.
fantastic trip to Goodwill. Um, on top of all the cool stuff I got to resell, I also found another little cubicle bookshelf that I'm using those to put inventory on in my listing room. And now I found two of them at Goodwill's for, this one was $15. I'll take it because uh, I don't have to put it together if I order it like from, you know, Ikea or Amazon or something. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty darn happy with all my goodies there. I spent, my total spend there was under $200, believe it or not. And uh, I'm going to make way more than that, which I have to still figure out how to kind of do, like, do you want to see haul videos? You tell me if you want to see haul videos. I'll do haul videos, and we'll go over the stuff, and I'll show you what it's worth. The problem is I have to go get it logged in and researched so I know how much it's going to sell for. So that's kind of my, I mean, I could guess, and I can give a roundabout, but I really want to give you the right numbers so you know. And I'm a little OCD, so I want to make sure I'm giving you the right numbers. Um, but anyway, that's where we're at. Um, and... Uh, now, i got to go return something at Kohl's. Join me for the next video, and uh, go be profitable and make it fun. Oh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.